New video at four showing deputies searching for a man they say led a bail bondsman on a chase through two cities causing multiple crashes. Brevard County deputies tell us the guy was wanted for violating his probation. News 6's James Barbero has more on the pursuit and the arrest. These divers with the Brevard County Sheriff's Office have been searching all afternoon in this small retention pond in between a Rockledge Lowe's and a 7-Eleven. We're told that witnesses who saw the suspect come to a crash, they told deputies that he threw an object in the pond. Possibly a gun, but it could have been anything. And at this time, deputies say they found nothing. This all starting about noon today when a bail bondsman tried taking into custody Pedro Lopez. He's wanted for violating his probation. Lopez has been in jail four times in the past year on drugs and battery charges. And today, deputies say the 31-year-old from Rockledge did not comply with the bail bondsman and a chase began down I-95 from Coco into Rockledge. Lopez got off the highway at the Fisk Boulevard exit, crashed after hitting other cars, and ran into the Lowe's parking lot. That's where deputies were told Lopez threw something into this retention pond. Lopez was apprehended. Divers then started looking. Either the bondsman or people that were there uh, thought he, he threw an object over the fence into a retention pond. Our dive team went out and looked. And as far as I know, they did not recover anything. The sheriff's office says Lopez's new charges will include battery on the bail bondsman. State troopers are investigating the crash portion of this case. In Rockledge, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.